say to young wannabe actors, don't do it. <laughs> um, I would say if you really, really love it, then anything's possible and you just have to stick at it. But it's not an easy road. It's not an easy road at all. Um, make your own stuff, write your own stuff. Um, you know, get a family of filmmakers together and start creating. Because not only will that allow you to do what you want to do, um, instead of waiting around, waiting for the phone to ring, but you never know what you'll come up with. And, and the exciting thing about you know festivals like um, like this one in Dublin is um, the variety. You know, we always want unique voices, so I think people should just be getting stuck in. Hello, my name's David Pope. I'm David Keating. Um, and we are the uh, designers and deliverers for Story Campus, which is um, an intensive two-day screenwriters lab that's been taking place here during the Jameson Dublin International Film Festival. Well, the, the program is split, split into um, two activities. Um, one, it has been some um, group workshops where all participants take place, but the backbone of the lab really is um, a series of one-to-one -one meetings that takes place between um, 10 international advisors and the 20 screenwriters. Uh, so each of the screenwriters has taken three meetings, three advisors over the period of the two days, uh, really focusing down on providing useful conversation about the development of each story. I'm Martin Sherman and I'm a screenwriter and playwright and we are holding seminars with young screenwriters and more experienced screenwriters like myself are advising them. Well, the, the advice I give is very strange, which is uh, uh, study acting. I think you should spend a little bit of time around actors, a little bit of time studying actors, because you're not writing literature if you're writing a film. You're writing something that has to be acted, and you therefore have to know what an actor needs in order to make a scene work. And that will actually inform your screenwriting. My name is Patricia Kelly, and um, I've uh, been discussing a new project of mine, uh, The Decemberist Wife, with, uh, with um, the industry professionals. And uh, so far yesterday, I had a chat with um, Terry McMahon and uh, Jean-Luc Romier. And now I'm going to have a chat with uh, Juanita Wilson. So it's uh, basically just getting feedback from, from each of them, uh, who so far have had very kind of uh, different uh, um, uh, things to say about my project. Um, uh, and, and, and so far, it's all been tremendously helpful. I, maybe I can talk about my first uh, time to go to cinema. I was, I was, I don't, I remember what, how, how old I was, but probably like 10 years old. And so uh, I went to film with my older brother. Uh, it was called, at that time we don't know, I didn't know actually what, what it was because we just went to a film. It was called um, Indiana Jones. So uh, I, I was really shocked and, and I was really like amazed with that. And it, it's very interesting because my, in this film of mine, uh, the, one of the actors in Indiana Jones acted. So it's very uh, nice coincidence. The main part is, is played by the French Juliette Binoche and, and her husband played by by uh, Nikolai Kostovoldo from Denmark. But the family, uh, to cast the rest of the film was... Um, in one way it was hard because I had to go in to really look for who might be there. Uh, I wasn't familiar enough with, with, uh, with the Irish actors. Uh, I knew Maria Doyle Kennedy from before, not personally, but I, you know, I sort of admire her work. I really wanted to see if, if, if it was a part for her in the film. Um, and also coming here, you might just think this is a silly answer, but, but to be here in Dublin, for me, it's sort of like, you know, uh, or in Ireland, basically. You know, Ireland is Beckett. It's, it, it, it's, it's a lot of those people not living anymore. And then you have your group, you too. And for me, it was, sort of, okay, how can I bring the, some of them into the film? Uh, and, um, and then uh, to ask Larry if he could, if he'd like to join for this smaller part. 
Um, it was sort of fun, but it was also, I was really keen on seeing if I, I could work, make that work. Because I like to do that in the movies, bring in amateurs together with professionals to get that sort of flavor. Um, but in the final end, of course, I had to look for the two daughters. And I found um, really nice uh, girls. Um, and we had a lot, especially for the, for the Steph, the 13-year-old, the, uh, the oldest daughter, to play my own daughter. And um, finally I got uh, Lauren Canyon, which I think is extraordinary. It was phenomenal. I mean, she has a phenomenal talent. And Juliette, who has been playing in movies all over the world for, for, for you know, those decades, she was absolutely blown away. And she, I remember she told um, Lauren at the last shooting day, if I had just a bit of your talent at your age, Wow, <laughs> who, who could I really, you know, be? So, I mean, I mean, you Irish people, you have a talent there which is huge.